Zero one. Zero two. All right. So I should be in there. Hopefully you guys stay put. And don't fall. Um, okay. Uh, now, this is going to be a really vulnerable diary. I feel like that's all I've been really sharing is just like my vulnerabilities. Um, I've been... Uh, emotionally feeling very challenged <laughs> and uh, just under the weather um, this whole experience with Mr. Mystery Man and the things that happened between us and uh, has really tripped me up. And um, uh, I haven't gotten my period, my moon cycle since uh, April, April 17th-ish was the last time I got my moon. And, uh, I'm not pregnant. Um, and, um, uh, I don't know what's going on with my body. And, um, I was processing a lot of feelings. Um, I'm trying to stay positive and trying to stay focused and keep moving forward and doing what I need to do to move to San Diego, um, but I'm definitely one, one, one. Uh, tripped up and uh, feeling a, a slight setback emotionally um, and uh, have to do some uh, serious emotional, spiritual care as well as like uh I need to know what's going on with my body and why I don't have my moon cycle um Show one, one. like for me you know like the doctors or whatever people are saying you know stress it happens like and it's like no like I've been, these last three years, I've been the most stressed out, fucked up times I know of. And I still had my moon regularly. Um, and, uh, so, it, it's not stress. It's not weight loss. It's not pregnancy. Um, yeah. And, oh, I am... You know, you could go through the, I could go through the change right now. I could, that could be happening. I am on the younger side for that to be happening. Um, I don't know, man. All I know is my heart hurts and I'm just like so confused. Feeling like I, like I had a an amazing friend and lover and partner, and then now they're just gone. You know, like so that's what happened with Mr. Mystery Man. You know, and uh, now I'm going through something in my body, in my life, and it's just like ugh, it's fucked up. And then the other fucked up part of it is, like, you know, according to Mr. Mystery Man, you know, he's in love with me. He's just, he's not available. He's not reliable. He needs to wander. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty fucking shitty. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> I was like, all right, well, you know, you wander. I'm not going to fucking sit around and wait. Like, I'm going to do my thing too then. Like, you want to go dip out? I'll dip out too. Um, uh, it hurts, like, but I'm not going to hold myself on reserve for someone who's not making themselves available to me at all, you know? So, um, having to just let that go, uh, don't know what the future holds, but he's not giving me any sort of fucking timeline or, so, it's like, even, like a timeout, you take a connected timeout, you communicate, you take a conscious, loving, yeah, this is just not... This don't, this don't work for me. <laughs> um, and it hurts. And I can't. I'm not happy. <sighs> so. <laughs> it's hot as fuck. Um, I have one air conditioner in here. And this place is so drafty. And like not really sealed. It's like old building. So... And it's, yeah, I need my other air conditioner put in, um, because this isn't cutting it. It's hot as shit. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing today. Uh, yeah, there's a part of me that's, like, I just want to stay in and, like, try to make some moves and some decisions and focus on my move to San Diego. Show one, two, one, two. But then there's another part of me Show that's one, two, like, two. I can't sit here by myself. I'm gonna lose my shit. I need to get the fuck out of the house. <laughs> like, <sighs> yeah. I had a great day yesterday. Like, I was, you know, I was emotionally distraught, but I took really good care of myself. I went for, like, a long ass crazy. It felt like I was just walking in the desert on like asphalt, like white asphalt with sun blaring off of it onto me for like so long. Um, not knowing where I was going, I was like, yeah, anyways. And then uh, uh, I had a friend scoop me up. We went into the woods. I got to get naked and be in the water naked and feel the sun naked and be silly and fun and sexy and playful and it was awesome it was really awesome um and i do have pictures so there will be some pictures i'm waiting i gotta get those pictures um so that was really awesome and then i went to the red arrow which i haven't been in a long time i've been out to eat in a long time i don't go out to eat a lot like it's just not my thing as much anymore um I miss it you know but like I have my own stuff with being blind and then you know COVID obviously added to that but now it's like just me um so that was awesome and then I just had really great cuddle and massage like just conscious connection time and yeah that was good <sighs> So, it's all just up here right now, you know, what's going on up here and what's going on in here is just Show one, one. really challenging. <laughs> um, and I'm grateful that I am, you know, talking to people and keeping myself, uh, not just sitting in my shit because... <laughs> It's not good. <laughs> um, I need to stay focused and stay positive, and I need to be with positive people who um, care and are helpful. And um, yeah, so yeah. Uh, had a nice drop in with another new connection today and just 
talking about everything because I haven't, I haven't really been talking, um, too much about my feelings, about what's going on in my body with my moon and everything that ha has been going on with Mr. Mr. Man and yeah, I've just, uh, one, two, two. it's just felt a little too heavy and a little too much and I haven't wanted to put it all out there or be too much or too emotional. It's like, uh, I've been enjoying things being all good and being happy and, um, feeling more on top of things and like uh, more like I'm enjoying life like I'm having a good life like I'm living you know and experiencing life uh, and uh, now I'm um, feeling very challenged by life and I don't want to be seen like this because I want to have my shit together, and I want to be happy, and I want to be grateful, and I want to be positive, and, <sighs> yep, <laughs> sometimes I'm not. Okay, I want to see what you guys are saying. Mike Andrews Jr. is watching. Enlist comments will appear here. I gotta slow this down Slower. a little bit. Slower. So I can understand. Mike Andrews Jr. Enlist. Mike? Mike, I think? Finish button out of list. Make comment text live. One viewer, Mike Andrews Jr., Mike Andrews, wave. Gina Janine, button. Gina Janine, hi Candace. Effect tools, button, out of list, comp, rotate camera to rear facing, button. Mm. Hi Gina, hi Mike. So, ugh. Alright guys, I really don't, um, have a lot of, uh, great shit to say, I'm just kind of spewing. Uh, yep, so. Oh. <sighs> Definitely, I could use uh, words of positivity and affirmation and praise, and I could use some cheerleading, and yeah, I could just use a lot of love sent my way right now. Um, reminders of my strength. my pleasure, my gratitude, but, uh, so I was telling my friend this morning, I either gotta, like, just flip shit and, like, really experience the depth of my emotions in a big celebratory way, no matter how scary or Show items, one, two, one, two. it may look or sound, or, like, try to be happy and force celebration as sarcastic or fake as it can feel. But, one or the other. And now, I really gotta go blow my nose, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> Let's see. Gina Janine, hi Candace. Effect tools, button. Rotate camera to rear face. Finish, button. 